Yeah, YouTube. Today we're doing a little bit of a comparison video between Peppermint OS uh, version 2022-0202 on the left and Antics uh, version 21 on the right. Now a bit of an apples to oranges video, but I will say the similarities to begin with. So they are actually both, off, uh, both based off Debian, so the Debian operating system there. Um, now the desktop environments, this is where it tends to separate just a little bit. So we have the XFCE desktop environment on the left there, nice and simple and easy to use. Look at all your apps, great. And on the right hand side uh, for Antics, uh, well I've got to firstly say that Antics is a very lightweight operating system. So it uses the ICE uh, WM, or desktop environment, if you will. It's very, very simple. It's a little bit like Lubuntu in fact with the LXQT desktop environment, but hey, it's got all those apps you want, you got your file manager, you got your web browser, and so on and so forth, etc. Uh, having a look at the desktop, we've uh, actually got uh, probably a few more options for the for the desktop context menu, so that's, that's pretty crazy to see there. Ooh, a little bit of a control center there as well. Choose your wallpaper, everybody wins. Okay, good, uh, moving on, we have the, uh, let's have a look at the file manager now. So we'll load these two puppies up. Now this is where it gets interesting. Ooh, I like that little, uh, graphic effect there for Peppermint. It's actually using the, the Nemo uh, file manager, which is pretty common with Ubuntu and things like that, so a little bit high-end. Uh, I love the colors though, I love the color scheme that's going on with Peppermint. Red and, uh, let's call it the dark mode with reds. And right click, open terminal, same sort of thing. Now this is a really light uh, file manager or, or, or file explorer here for the Antex 21 uh, desktop environment. Uh, let's see, I just wanna see, my main thing is that I can open a terminal there. So that keeps me pretty happy, but it's very pixel, uh, important so you need to get the exact pixel to sort of stretch things in and out there i'm having a real issue there but hey simple drag and drop everyone's a winner still okay moving into under the hood let's have a look what's going on there so the kernel so these are both debian based so they are actually running on the same kernel so nothing to really write home about there 5.10 on the left 5.10 on the right. Uh, now, last but not least, let's have a little bit of a look at the CPU usage. So nicely idling out there, as we can see, nothing too crazy. Now the RAM, so I'll start off with the, high, the low one, 150 megabytes of RAM on boot up. Doesn't get any lighter than that, folks. It really, really does it when it comes to Linux. And Peppermint OS, uh, 750 oh, megabytes, but it did jump down to 700 megabytes of RAM on boot up just then. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just a super simple, quick, fun video to uh, show you some of the com uh, comparisons of the, the similarities and the differences between these two operating systems. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.